Amazon founder and CEO Jeff Bezos has published a lengthy essay on the blog platform Medium, alleging that the National Enquirer and its owner American Media Incorporated tried to blackmail him over explicit selfies. Bezos begins his post by writing, Rather than capitulate to extortion and blackmail, I've decided to publish exactly what they sent me, despite the personal cost and embarrassment they threaten. The billionaire, who announced that he and his wife of 25 years were divorcing in January, goes on to explain that that same month, the Enquirer published an 11-page, year-long investigation into his relationship with Lauren Sanchez Whitesell, wife of Endeavor Executive Chairman Patrick Whitesell. The explosive report contained intimate text messages Bezos had sent Sanchez Whitesell, and almost immediately questions arose as to how the tabloid could have obtained the correspondence. Alexa, how could you? Sorry, Jeff, it was a drunk dial. In his post, Bezos says he launched his own investigation to learn how those texts were obtained and to determine the motives for the many unusual actions taken by the Enquirer. As it turns out, there are now several independent investigations looking into this matter. The tech mogul then writes that his team found out that AMI chairman and CEO David Pecker was apoplectic about the investigation and shortly thereafter, they were approached with an offer. They said they had more of my text messages and photos that they would publish if we didn't stop our investigation. My lawyers argue that AMI has no right to publish photos since any person holds the copyright to their own photos and since the photos in themselves don't add anything newsworthy, Bezos writes. However, Inquirer editor Dylan Howard then sent a detailed email to Bezos' legal and investigative team detailing nine images that the publication is prepared to publish in addition to a naked selfie taken while Bezos was still wearing his wedding ring. The email got my attention, Bezos writes, but not in the way they likely hoped. Instead, Bezos says he was willing to sacrifice personal embarrassment in order to point out a much more important matter. If in my position I can't stand up to this kind of extortion, how many people can, he asks. Bezos explains that the extortion plot consisted of the threat that AMI would publish the personal photos unless he and his investigator Gavin De Becker made a false public statement to the press, stating that they have no knowledge or basis for suggesting that AMI's coverage was politically motivated or influenced by political forces. Bezos is referring to headlines surrounding the publication of the Inquirer's initial investigation as being politically motivated, as AMI CEO David Pecker is known to be close to President Donald Trump, who has blasted Bezos on Twitter on multiple occasions. As part of their extortionate proposal, Bezos says that if he does not agree to the specific lie that the coverage was not politically motivated, the Inquirer will publish the photos, and even if he and Becker agree to it now, if they ever deviate from it, the photos will be published at a later date. These communications cement AMI's long-earned reputation for weaponizing journalistic privileges, hiding behind important protections, and ignoring the tenets and purpose of true journalism. Of course, I don't want personal photos published, but I also won't participate in their well-known practice of blackmail, political favors, political attacks, and corruption basis rights. I prefer to stand up, roll this log over, and see what crawls out. Meanwhile, on Friday morning, AMI released their own statement saying the company plans to investigate the claims made by Bezos. American media believes fervently that it acted lawfully in the reporting of the story of Mr. Bezos, reads the statement, in part. Nonetheless, in light of the nature of the allegations published by Mr. Bezos, the board has convened and determined that it should promptly and thoroughly investigate the claims. Upon completion of that investigation, the board will take whatever appropriate action is necessary. To read more on this ongoing story, head to THR.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Lindsay Rodriguez.